You see this axolotl? This is the rarest axolotl in the entire game. You have a 1 in 1,200 chance of getting this thing. It's rare. Today's episode is the story of how I got an infinite amount of these things in 1.18 survival. If you enjoy the episode, like, and if you're new here, subscribe for more. Hello everybody, it's me, your boy Waddles, Minecraft Survival, episode number 28. In the last episode, we ended at a low point. We hung our head in defeat, it was sad. But fortunately, on the bright side of things, with that out of the way, there's only one answer that we can get today. So here we are, back over at the Axolotl Outpost. It's breeding time. For what I need to get done today, which involves the rarest axolotl in the entire game, we're probably going to need to breed. Like, a lot of axolotls. I'm looking for that blue axolotl right off the bat today. To get that axolotl... <laughs> Well, to get that axolotl, the odds are less than 1%. 1 out of every 1,200 axolotls. I mean, it's not great odds for sure, but also it could be worse. It could be like 1 out of every 1,300, so yeah, <laughs> there's that at least. Fortunately, the profits of the last episode did bring one good thing, or four of them. We have every other color of axolotl already lined up, so that's good. Also, if you've been looking at the outpost thinking something's off, maybe something looks a little bit different, you're spot on, good eye, good catch. I actually added another breeding bin, and I made all of the breeding bins a little bit bigger for this experiment. I fully expect this to take, like, a long time. <laughs> like, a really, really long time. We've had too much good odds inside of this world so far, like with the trident and everything, for this to actually be, like, an easy, quick process, but it's okay. To take on this project and actually succeed, time, that's all it comes down to. This week I've set aside two days of my week to breeding axolotls in Minecraft. <laughs> yeah. Two days to breed these things. Sooner or later it's gotta work. Hopefully sooner. With two days set aside, more than enough time to take a look at today's meme of the day. This beauty right here. <laughs> the reaction that this got out of me the first time I saw it. It's, it was, I mean, it would be hard to say for sure, but I've got to guess. It's pretty similar to the reaction that people had the first time they saw the Mona Lisa. This meme is beautiful, it's perfection, and it's also my entire life. Thank you. Well, with that out of the way, I guess I can go back to my job as full-time axolotl father. Uh, yeah, wish me luck. <gasps> no, 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 no. It hasn't been that long. My, my axe isn't even fixed up. Um, this hasn't even been that long. I just came back from, from a break. I took a break to eat. Um, axolotl. And it's blue. And it's mine. A <laughs> blue axolotl inside of a bucket. And it's still day one, too. What am I going to do with all of this time now? Blue axolotl. You're my savior. You're perfect. Well, truly, I did not expect a moment like this, but I think it's time I say my thank yous. I'd like to send a big thank you to my family, my mother, of course, thank you so much for birthing me. I wouldn't have experienced this moment if that didn't happen. Thank you to all of you for supporting me through this perilous journey. Thank you to uh, the axolotls, of course, the axolotls, how could I forget? And finally, thank you to the queen. Big thank you to the queen. This is such a good moment. <laughs> I can't believe this. Blue axolotl, blue axolotl, you're home now. You're home at last, and you're coming with me. Axolotl Alpos, you've done me well. I think we might be back here later today, but I think it's time we get out of here. Oh yeah, I almost forgot. I upgraded the world to 1.18.2. It all went well, except for one big bug. The water is a little glitch right now when it's waterlogged on things. I think it's an Optifine thing, but yeah. Still don't know what I'm going to do with all this extra time, though. Like, seriously, <laughs> this was easy. Maybe it's coffee time. This, this is truly a great moment. There's nothing that could happen in the world that could ruin this moment for me. It's... <gasps> my sugarcane farm. My vine farm. No. What happened here? Skra. Guardian gang. Skra. W what? The, the whole base is on fire. Oh no. Oh no. Is that... Is That can't be what I think it is, is it? <gasps> No. Proof of ICBMs? No, 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 no. This is not good. The trajectory lines up, too, with the south right there. The Guardians. No way. Who could have done this? Could it be the Guardians? Oh, this is not good. The entire sugarcane farm, the masterpiece. Ruined. Trashed. 
in the vine farm. I didn't even get to collect the vines right there. Gone. Reduced. Who would have done this? Surely they wouldn't have, have you? This day got bad. This day got bad fast. Well, this surely hasn't gone as planned at, at all. I didn't plan on coming back to the base after leaving for literally one episode, like I said. And find my farms blown up, like reduced. I have no clue who would have done this. This is a literal single player world. I don't get it. Well, on the bright side of things, I actually needed to tear all of this stuff down anyway, so whoever did this actually helped out huge time. I'm thinking our next great addition to the base needs to be sitting right here anyways, and the sugarcane farm, I mean, it was kind of always an eyesore. I didn't really mean that hard and soul stuff. It was a bad looking farm, let's be honest. Finally, we can get rid of it. Absolutely gonna keep these campfires though. I've been waiting for this day to be honest. Finally, the day is here. The day that we can erase this horrendous looking sugarcane farm from the world and also the vine farm too. No offense, all of the vines are great, but the farm, it wasn't exactly that. Farm is gone now, but I'm looking at the space right here thinking that maybe this isn't going to be enough space. I think what we're going to do is try and just start the build, but I can almost guarantee it for sure that hill right there is going to have to go and then this hill over here, we might even have to push this thing back too. This build, it's going to be big. I'm also thinking main road vibe, which means I should probably lower the ground too. It's gonna be a lot more digging here, but like if we could have a road finally going in between this building and what I'm gonna set up here, that'd be pretty great. With the unfortunate early demise of the axolotl outpost project, we're gonna need to pivot. The axolotls, especially the new really, really rare one, deserve a good home. I think a good home has maybe actually been over at our base all along. I'm thinking axolotl aquarium sitting right in here, front and center, looking at this, creating a main road right inside of here. Oh man, I think this is gonna be really good. Now I'm imagining for this build, we have a staircase going up on the side, so we're gonna need a lot of staircases. And I'm imagining like a like a better looking pattern than just normal spruce staircases. I mean, look at that right there. It will work for sure, definitely. Like I can go up and down and that's the point of it. Um, but I think it could look a whole lot better. As you may recall from our previous conversations, when I spent some time in Ibiza studying ship working, I actually also studied a little bit of staircase building as well. Look at that beauty right there, a little dark oak line on the middle, oh that's gonna be perfect, which is exactly why I'm planting dark oak tree right there. Gonna have to grow more spruce trees for sure, can't decide if I should do it over there or just deal with the pods all over here. But yeah, like a cool staircase going up, wrapping around the back of the build, coming down on the other side, which means hill. Terrible, really bad news for the hill fans out there. The hill is gonna have to go away, at, at least partially. We get rid of the hill, the apparently cursed hill. Take the hill out, maybe terraform it a little bit to make room for the second staircase. Do all of that and then we end up with something that looks like this right here. We have a grand staircase right there with the fanciest pattern in the world. A second one right there making it very, very fancy. And then in the middle, we have gigantic glass aquarium. So before the episode, I actually went over to the desert or the beach and got even more sand. I've been smelting up the sand while I've been working on this project a little bit. We're gonna need a lot of glass. I'm thinking the best glass on this thing would be like clear glass and then maybe we do like blue on the back. That could be kind of cool. Now, I'm definitely thinking a circle aquarium, circle of like flats out of five maybe will be good. I want to have a lot of room for axolotls inside of this thing because we have a lot of axolotls, and not to brag. But also, I don't want to make this thing too big. I think a big problem that I had with the outpost was maybe overshooting a little bit, making it too big. Sand is for smelting, but sand is also going to be for the aquarium itself. I'm thinking replace all of the floor inside of the aquarium with sand, maybe even a little bit of coarse dirt, but sand for sure. And then we put like the water plants on it, like kelp, and maybe I go back and get a little bit of coral, put it in there on the floor. Oh, I can see it already. The axolotls like smiling from ear antenna thing to ear antenna thing. Yeah, yeah, they're going to be really happy. And then in the middle, I'm thinking a little bit of a hill, make it even more fancy. And then on top of that hill, oh, just wait for it. Sitting right in the middle on top of the hill, there's only one answer, statue. Axolotl statue sitting right in the center, sitting down, like looking out. Axolotl statue, easily. So probably something like this, and then it goes up, and then, you know, we'll have like a head bit right there, and it looks nothing like an axle yet, but give me time. Give me time, and I promise you, I'll come up with an amazing axolotl. I, I promise. I guarantee it. Once I figure this thing out, this is going to be a good-looking axolotl statue, completely unmistakable. You look at this thing and instantly go, wow, that, that's, that's an axolotl, axolotl sitting in the middle of that water pen. pen? Yeah, that's going to be pretty sweet. 
I figure we have this whole statue thing going on in this world, which I really like. I mean, we have the giant bees, we have me on the mountain, we have the goats on the mountain, we have the temple, kind of a statue, we have the one that cannot be mentioned. Yes, we have so many statues in this world, and I really like the vibe, so why not, like, basically try and continue it over here inside of the axolotl pen? Which, uh, axolotl? Mmm, kind of. Kind of looks more like a turtle right now, to be honest, but slap ears on this thing, and it's unmistakable. <laughs> Absolutely an axolotl. This is perfect. And a tail. Definitely a tail. Axolotls have tails too. Can't forget. Couple slabs in the middle to round up the top of the head and... Axolotl. <laughs> perfect. Exactly. I told you. Axolotl statue. Yeah, yeah. One of those sitting right in the middle of the fountain. They'll love it. And, you know, I kind of love it too. I like the axolotl statue. I think I need more. Now, filling this thing up with water is going to be a big pain. If I dump water right at the top of the thing, I think it's always going to be flowing water, like flowing straight down. And then I don't know if the axolotls will actually be able to swim around this thing. So, yeah, big problem. I think what I'm going to have to do is go layer by layer, probably from the top all the way down to the bottom, and, like, fill it up and smooth out the water. Like, I fill one, and then I do the next one, and the next one. It's going to be a lot of placing dirt, a lot of removing dirt, but it can be done. I think first, before we do all that, though, going to have to get the glass in. And I'm going to have to do what I want to do on the back of this build. I want to make the back look like really, really good. More recipes. Nice. Another axolotl. Nice. Green kelp made entirely out of wool on the back wall. Very creative. Also very nice. Pillager in my world. Not nice. Blue water looking stuff on the back of this thing that is actually just concrete. Sneaky. And nice. And finally, one more axolotl statue. Okay. That's enough of that. <laughs> I should definitely get the glass in and actually finish this thing up. Okay, big moment of truth here. Can the axolotl swim? Inside of the water, even though it's flowing down, uh, obviously aside from the glitch statue. Oh, you look like you're gonna make my life so easy today. Axolotl, it can, it can swim. It doesn't matter if the water's flowing down. It can swim. This is the biggest development of the day. Second biggest. Oh, this is amazing. Okay, that's great. That's absolutely huge. Now, it's gonna mean the water is gonna be a little glitchy inside of this thing. Of course, I'm gonna fix up the, the statue there, waterlog, all that stuff. But it works. This thing actually works, and I don't need to go layer by layer by layer. It's fine. Also, I realized that I could probably plant, like, a bunch of kelp inside of this thing, bone meal it, spread water sources like that, too. Oh, my life just got so much easier. I was absolutely dreading, to be honest, going layer by layer and actually filling this thing up. Was it going to be fun at all? Mm -mm. But now I don't have to. Doesn't matter at all. Kelp, where are you? Come with me. And now that I think about it, this is more of a niche thing. Like, if you don't know what I'm talking about about the water, you probably think of a bit of a madman right now, just excited over nothing. And if you think that, well, you're not wrong. This is perfect. Everything is going way better than expected today, which is a beautiful contrast to the last episode. So the next step is going to be a platform on the back of this thing so we can actually, you know, get in and out of the tank. Platform, I'm thinking of something pretty simple like what I'm doing here. Spruce wood, maybe spice it up a little bit with some trap doors, but a basic platform wrapping around the back. And maybe I can connect other roads to it too. That could work. Alright, so I'm making really good progress on this build. I think I have basically everything figured out. I figured fence gates right there, the axolotls. I don't think they're gonna leave the water, but in case they leave the water, they're stuck. There's no option. They live inside of this tank that is now bustling with kelp. Big word, I know, I know. Look at all this kelp, though. Seriously, like, you can't deny. Absolutely bustling with kelp. So, yeah, that's pretty sweet. And then over here on the build, I got a little bit fancy, to be honest here. An arch. Of course, every single good build needs an arch. So I figured, yeah, put an arch on the build and make sure it's a good-looking build. Now, do we want to do that or... Do we want to fill it in? I think we want to fill it in like that. We have the arch filled in like that. That's really good looking. And look at that. It looks like the bees are flying through the arch too. Oh, it's beautiful. So if you observe closely, it is definitely becoming nighttime. And uh, if you observe even more closely, then you will find out that it's actually like pretty bright up here. I've done a pretty good job, I think, of lighting up this area. Really like that mob spawning change they made at 1.18 with the whole like, you know, light level uh, zero mob spawning. Because of the amazing change, I don't need to obsess over it too much. I did figure a couple hay bales in this area would make it look really good, but 
Let's go ahead, roll it over to the daytime and check it out. The sheep. The incident that happened earlier in the episode, not really too sure who did it. The sheep were suspiciously close though, and they do kind of reek, so I decided to move the sheep over here. I feel like this area is way more fitting anyways, like a farm vibe. The sheep seem way happier over here too. Not that I really care about that, but yeah, that's the thing. Also no more sheep in the way, which means I can put a road over here. Now for legal reasons, today I'm working on this build, not this build, so I don't need to worry about detailing this build and filling up the space and actually making it look good, but I promise, eventually I will do that. Oh man, but the thing I'm really proud of and the thing I'm really excited about. So we have Axolotl statue over there, Axolotl statue over there, kind of obsessed with those things, not gonna lie. We have copper right here that I still need to mine. And then this thing, the flowering leaves, I need to use these things more. We 100% need to set up like a bone meal farm inside of this world. And then we need to set up like a tree farm so I can use these more because they're really, really nice. Here we have the pen. I think this is going to look really nice, especially once I have like, you know, like a main road cutting through here. We have that cool looking build over there, not blocked for now. And then, yeah, the big aquarium swimming with axolotls. We love it. Then we have the staircase over here. I have a little bit of decoration going on. Some furnaces in case I need to furnace. Stone cutter in case I need to stone cut. Over here, a crafting table for, of course, you know what I'm saying. Then we have a bridge. This bridge leads to a brand new path. Look at this thing. I decided to connect this data and path with the villager farm, which is, by the way, going amazingly. Connected this path, opened it up a little bit. Now we have this grand entrance to the aquarium right over here that is, like, at the heart of our world. And now I'm excited. I feel like for the longest time, the world has felt kind of like disconnected. Like we have this build sitting over here, temporary builds in the way, not too much going on. And, and now we actually have something going on. Now I started planning for a road over here. Haven't really done any work as you can see, but I'm thinking the path that's it's pretty simple. We'll take a path and basically just carve it through here. Kind of like randomize it, you know, same thing that I did before. Eventually have a build sitting right there. The path goes over to that. And then the path really just continues down this way, turns into maybe like a fancy your road or something down here but yeah so that's what i've got so far if you aren't impressed yet i think i've got something coming up that will definitely get you so i have these awkward corners right here wasn't too sure what to do until uh brainstorm i knew exactly what to do this is what i'm thinking we go up with uh with a couple fences like that then we go out in kind of like a cross with even more fences and then after the fences oh boy, boy after, after the, the fences, fences slab on the top just like that lanterns on the bottom just like that four of them take this design like exactly and duplicate this on the other four corners of the circle and you end up with essentially the best looking fanciest looking axolotl aquarium of all time the <laughs> city vibes for sure and i think that finishes it which means axolotls oh boy uh, other than the coral and the inside that i want to put there you're home you're finally home almost home you're almost home so we have an axolotl right there it's the blue one it's really cool and i need to back inside the bucket without ruining anything point here is we are the owner of the rarest axolotl in the entire game and that's pretty cool hard to get in 1.18 However, we only have one of these things. You take the blue one, breed it with any color at all, you have a chance to get another blue one. Eventually, you get two blue ones, you breed the two blue ones. Infinite, rare, axolotl. Infinite amount of the rarest axolotl, just like that. Sounds pretty easy to me. Sounds pretty cool to me. Sounds pretty useful to me for our brigade. So, here we are, back over at the axolotl outpost. Axolotl outpost, you and I, we're old friends, old buddies. We don't get along anymore, but you're useful. You're really useful. The plan here is to dump this thing inside of this box, let it grow up, and then we breed it. We breed it with a yellow one, we breed it with a pink one. Doesn't matter at all. If we're lucky, 50-50 chance, we get a second blue one, and the job's done. It's that simple. And I also need coral plants. I think I cannot punch those. I need to use Silk Touch, so I'll Silk Touch some of these. They're so abundant inside of this thing. Maybe a couple sea pickles as well. That could be cool. Decorate the aquarium with these things. Haha, <laughs> it's gonna look so good. Also, puffer fish. Drop your head. Oh. Mmm, don't know if the axolotl really helped me with that one, but fair enough. Didn't get ahead last time. Second time's the charm. Third tries the charm. You see what I'm saying? Well, it's been a while. Let's see how our blue boy's doing. Oh my gosh, you've grown so much. You've grown so much. This is your big moment right here. Blue axolotl, fish. Yellow axolotl, fish. They're breeding. They're looking. They're looking. They're breeding. And yellow. Okay. Well, that's fine. We wait like five minutes and we try again. It could happen. The time has come again, chosen one. This time I can feel it. Second try, it's it. We're getting a blue child right here just like that blue child oh you're perfect this thing grows up breed these two infinite blue ones piece of cake is that simple and extra fish so you know what yeah yeah just, just go to town wasn't exactly just trying to slaughter fish but it is what it is i'm a monster
We can help this little guy hit the big leagues by feeding it more fish. Feed it fish, it'll grow up quick. It's like I'm literally bone mealing an axolotl. <laughs> it feels so weird. Time jump later, and here we go. Don't think about this next part too much. We have the parent axolotl. We have the child axolotl. Feed them both fish. They look at each other in strange ways. They probably shouldn't be. And perfection. I think it's time to go home. So we've done it. We now have access to essentially an infinite amount of the rarest axolotl in the game. Problem, all of the axolotls are over at the outpost. Now I'm going to have to relocate a lot of these axolotls back over to the base. Definitely taking all the rare ones with me. That's a big flex for sure. Actually, you know what? For safekeeping, we'll keep one of the axolotls over here inside of this barrel. If I ever lose the axolotl color somehow, I didn't actually lose it. It's inside of the barrel. Then I'm going to need more buckets. I want to bring as many of these axolotls back home as I can. And so, with the whole infinite blue axolotl thing figured out, and a ton of axolotls inside of my inventory, it was time to set them free. Run, my children. You're home. This... This is home. Look at them all. It truly brings a tear to my eye. They look so happy. We've done it. After two episodes, we can finally declare victory. We have an axolotl aquarium back over at the base with every single color of axolotl, and even more importantly, two of the rare ones. With two, we can get more. The plan is absolutely to breed axolotl and get even more of them. But that's going to do it for today. That's exactly how I got an infinite amount of the rarest axolotl in Minecraft 1.18 survival. Hope you enjoyed. Patron gang, big shout out. Seer the Black Swan, Andrew H, Gabriel Y, and Paul P. Thank you all so much for the support. As always, the like button is right down below the video. Make a quick stop at it. Links are in the description. Video on the end card. It's me, your boy. I'll see you tomorrow. Goodbye, everyone.